I'm with WorldWarsupply.com and today I'm going to explain to you about the M1 carbine buttstock pouch. A lot of people think the pouch was originally designed to go on the buttstock of the rifle. It was not. As of all the pouches of the era, it opened up and there's a snap here. The snap goes onto the belt. I, brought, I have the uh, dark OD and the khaki here. I sell them that match. Snap goes right underneath and ends up mating with it just like this here. This held it in place when it was on there on the belt. And when you're down in the prone position shooting the M1 carbine, it's not too handy to have it down underneath your stomach while you, the rifle's out in front of you. So what a smart GI figured out how to do is put it on the buttstock of the rifle. Now I get a lot of emails as well. People go, well, it doesn't fit. Because if it fit on from the back, it would fall right back off the back. You have to put it on from the front. In order to accomplish that, you unscrew the front barrel band Press the D-tab, the detent here, and this will come forward. That will come off. Action will come out. Butt stock pouch can go on. Then you slide it back and forth. See, now it's tight right here. You slide it back and forth however you want it to fit. The more forward the loose, the more back, the tighter it's going to be, and it's not a perfect fit. But it's an original fit. This is exactly how the pouches were originally made. But it's not perfect because it was, again, never designed for the buttstock. It was designed for the 1936 pistol belt. But this is how more people had them. It's far handier to have it here on the buttstock, your magazines, than on the pistol belt.